all right hello and welcome back to Elden Ring so we just killed a few bosses last time and now we're back to the land of Elden Ring where we're still going to kill people we're still going to die quite a lot and we're still trying to kill some bosses which are going to be more difficult than the, the previous one so right now after I well kind of skipped the I guess the little cutscene with the king uh, and after I killed the, the boss down here and so like this I just decided to go back at this grace look around and I saw there is a lot like another tweak where I just followed and it's basically led me to this cave and I, I was thinking I was outside before I actually started this so I can actually go and do the ever gale uh, stuff here but sadly I wasn't so I guess right now it's me going i guess after another boss which is going to be this big ass bear so let's just go kill it and explore a little bit more in this area Well, after this quick and fast fight with this bear, I explored a little bit more inside the cave after I left, so I don't miss anything by accident, and I went on my way. After some wandering around, I managed to kill some rats, I managed to kill some skeletons, and spoke to Melina at one of the new founded graces, and then it was time to fight yet another boss. Well, moments later, I was quite curious about this tree, because there is a, a lore for it and I found out they're even more similar to it and hopefully in the future they're going to give me a little bit more of a challenge when it's time to fight them as well. There we go. So this is this is definitely a, a, a boss and I guess I'm just going to fight it. Why not? Let, let's just go.
little bit after fighting this boss it didn't took a long time before fighting another weird enemy or whatever that thing was so i found my grace after getting this thing down i went inside and i got an item and honestly i was a little bit disappointed because there wasn't any like cool enemy or something else to actually fight inside What the fuck is this? Okay. So it was basically I just need it once. I'm scared from what I'm going to find here hello I have no idea Sh sure so I managed to get it and went back to the underground caves which I found on my way to the So place. I did went back to one of the first caves and I went in and it was looking like a tiny swamp which was giving me some poison and poison damage from the enemies but after using an item I managed to reduce the poison killed some some of them and it was time to kill the boss there as well really the boss wasn't this difficult it was just one big flower which we already fought before and after that I just left the cave and went for the next one straight away. Uh, perfect. Now, now we're just going to see what exactly is this place. And what you can actually do with it. Can you not? Boss head therefore first, okay. So there is a boss up here. So Let's just go for the boss and see can we actually kill them in our first try without getting poisoned so much. Beware of poison. So we are probably going to die here, but at least we can try. What I can actually do is just do this while I still have my resistance. And they can just tank my... Uh, jellyfish Okay, well this wasn't this hard so I went for the second cave and it was nice looking catacomb place. The boss was right next to the graves but I decided to explore a little bit more before I actually go in. I managed to kill some skeletons, got a few items, nothing really special and I just got ready for the boss. So the boss wasn't anything special, managed to kill it quite easily and yet again it was time just to explore even more from this area. Kill them quickly. Get back, get back. Let's kill up. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, this guy spins. I'm, am I going to die? You know what? Wait. I have an idea. They are probably going to die now to the fire. Bro. There we go. Now they're going to resurrect up and I'm just going to kill them again. If I'm fast enough. Alright, good. It's time to fight uh, the next boss, which I don't know how hard is going to be, but it's going to be definitely a difficult fight. Cemetery Shade, oh. This is with a with a poison. Oh, this is uh, with a blood loss. Maybe we can kill it before it can kill us. can definitely kill it before it can kill us. And we actually managed to kill it. Another boss, well done. Well, really, after a couple of hours of exploring this area, I think I managed to explore every cave, kill as much as enemies as possible and get some items. So I was feeling ready with enough levels to fight the real boss where nobody is going to intervene and I can do this on my own. So I went back to the first ever jail, if I'm saying this correctly, and fight the boss there. And that ended up very, very badly. So I'm right here at this Storm Hill Ever Gale. And this is, a, I guess, an optional boss or whatever it is. Because we, we did try it before, but so I do have some levels. It might be too easy, it might be still quite hard, but it's going to be time for another proper, this time, boss fight. So let's go and do this. Well, after a few hours in a week page trying to kill this boss, it shows you how much this game is teaching you on how to fight and not give up may not be the hardest boss but you do this on your own terms and get it done it was a fight which everybody needs to do at least once in their playthrough you're going to feel you already beat the whole game so thank you for watching and i will see you next time